we did start the, the whole access thing, didn't we? I mean, Ah, well, I was going to say that indeed, yes, we were criticised, perhaps rightly, I think, as being the programme which Hampstead intellectuals talk about Hampstead intellectuals to Hampstead intellectuals, the same three every night, you could argue. And then I think uh, the, the Watt Tyler, as we used to call him, our working class hero, Mike Fentiman, actually said it's time that the workers spoke for themselves. Uh, in fact, I think it was you who pioneered what has now become, I think, the whole programme unit by going into a Guinness factory. I didn't pioneer it. I, w I was the person asked to do mm. it. But, I mean, I, I, I mean, Mike Fentiman pioneered it. I mean, that's, that's the truth of it. Everybody talks about television, and that's what we're doing tonight in a discussion which took place two days ago at the Guinness Works Canteen in London. Nothing has been taken out. The conversation is exactly as it happened. Edie, what do you think about the licence going up by a pound? Do you think it's worth it? No, I don't. Not really. I think that's terrible. Why? Why? Well, because I think we pay enough because we don't get enough um, decent programmes, do we? What does anybody else think about the licence going up? I think we get far too many repeats and far too many old films and uh, too much sex. <laughs> I don't think it's enough. Too many people jumping in and out of bed. Oh, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> where, 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 where would you, Edie, where would you like to see the sex in the programme? Which programmes would you like to see more? Oh, no, more I, 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 I'm, uh, I'm only joking about <laughs> the sex. <laughs> well, I, I, think, oh, I think myself that uh, the BBC, to what, what it is now, and the, uh, the picture that was always in one's mind prior to the last couple of years, the BBC has no longer got... Uh, the standard of entertainment that people, you know, got used to. I mean, take your plays now. At one time, you could sit down an hour, hour and a half, really enjoy it. You could make a family thing about it. Now you've got some real amateurish talent writing these scripts or plays, whatever you like to call them. Uh, you might get four or five minutes of sex normally at the beginning of these plays. Of course, it impresses the masses so much that they can get away with a load of rubbish for the rest of the programme. And the next morning when you come to work and that, you, you, you hear nothing about the plot of the play or the story. Well, yes, did you see that fella with this woman and that? And that's all. And to me, it, it's so inferior, you know. You must have had five minutes of sex and cut, switch the set off. Sherry, that, that particular excerpt, I think, is filed under Guinness Workers or... Tony Bilbo's shirt. I think it's the Bilbo shirt. What about that? It's flower power. You could have an exhibition of that now in the Victorian Albert Museum as what 60s man wore. It's, it's wonderful. It's coming back, I promise you.